Hello hackers, uh, welcome to the Hacker Show and you are watching Hacker Associate Broadcast. In this section, we are going to focus on live AMP analysis. So I'm going to show you uh, like how to use this framework we call automated SSRIP scanner framework 2.0, how to use it okay, specifically for live endpoints. So I'm going to take uh, one live application and I'm going to demonstrate okay, how uh, we can identify vulnerability quickly. But before that, I'm going to show you using a bug collaborator okay so we will take a bug collaborator we will use the same endpoint and we will try to identify bug collaborator able to identify vulnerability or not in this case in this particular case a bug collaborator simply fail okay bug collaborator not able to identify vulnerability but when i manually examine this stuff i identify uh, there is a SSRI vulnerability present okay under this endpoint so that is the case okay like you know that trigger okay in my mind okay like why not i'll write a tool such kind of scenarios because this is not only the case obviously 25 30 cases okay last three months and i you know uh, like use my own framework and i identify vulnerability very quickly as compared to bug collaborator so that is the reason okay i designed this framework this is the case where bug collaborator fail in that case okay like my tool come in the picture and there are many other features okay which we have discussed already in our previous chapter right so in this section we will take a, a two case study one is with bug collaborator and second with our framework which is automated ssrf scanner pro right so i think um, you might be uh, waiting for this particular video and you are excited about it let's see how we can do this tool effectively okay specifically for the live endpoint right so your wait, wait is over and i will see you in the live session stay tuned with hey hello everyone uh, welcome to that practical session and in this section i'm going to focus on live endpoint analysis so without wait let's go uh, to the live endpoint and we'll see how we can identify the bug okay so i'm going to take a live application so here is my mozilla firefox okay and also i'm going to configure the bug suite professional this is video number five okay and we are going to uh, focus on live endpoint analysis go next we start bug and here okay this is basically the page you will get all the information regarding automated ssr whiskey pro so here are the details fill the details and get the resources perfect so when you go to the bug suite okay uh, here you can see clearly uh, we have extension right so we already seen the, okay uh, in our previous chapters like how to configure okay this particular framework right so i think it will take a time little bit because i have a lot of extension it is loading just wait for uh, 30 seconds and you will see your extension will be loaded right so here you can see this is my extension and uh, here is output and the error if you need a complete report you can simply click on the output area like this so let's go start okay let's go and move to our live endpoint so i'm going to take this application uh, for this testing purpose this is live endpoint you can see vibe lab 12 fr whenever it give you a pop-up change to the language okay so i generally uh, change to English so you can change accordingly and once you change it okay you can simply go to the bug and check you got the traffic or not so if you're not getting a traffic it means we need to check our burp configuration so enable the burp and then refresh it and here you will see right this is the page now once you refresh it you will see uh, this thing under the target tab you can clearly see that okay we have information under the target tab right HTTP and HTTPS. I'm going to take this one, right click, add to scope, and click here, yes. So, as I mentioned, okay, in our uh, introduction area, first we are going to take a bug collaborator and we will see bug collaborator able to identify vulnerability or not, right? So, I'll take this uh, endpoint and then go and show only the scope item, apply and close, right? And now, if you go further, here, okay, we have a third party URL. So, when you examine the URL, like using the option called passive scan the host active scan the host okay so i only prefer this option called passive scan the host okay i call the url even if you want to crawl the url you can simply right click and you can simply click on the scan and this option called crawl right you can just click on this button and you can crawl that application okay so we have these many urls suppose uh, i need to analyze this endpoint i will select it and you can simply right click send to the repeater and repeater tab is highlighted here send the request from here and see what response okay you're going to record so you can see clearly we have this response 
and now uh, under this parameter i'm i have no idea there are three parameter here right call uh, databases and then query right so i have no idea in uh, which parameter is vulnerable okay so uh, generally we i'll use a call operator and i can simple you know get started with this copy to the clipboard go to the repeater and i'm going to change this part right http uh, we will change this part to this and then i'm going to use colon slash slash if you want you can also encode okay this particular part if you want you can also encode okay so you can also use uh, the extension called hack water so i'm not sure okay like it is enable okay in my system otherwise you can use control plus u let me just try encode you can see it's encoded okay so i'm sending without encoding and i'll just put a space and then send it okay so if you just send the request you can see clearly i need to look at the response you can see like we have certain responses but when i look at the call operator click on the poll now poll now you can see clearly i don't have any response coming from that application okay that is the one thing there are many ways to achieve all this okay if i just select the uh, all this poll now again you can see and again when i send the request uh, let's see what will happen and by the time i'll also enable okay like extension call uh hack water you see this is enabled now perfect close it go to the repeater and we have responses go to the collaborator poll now you can clearly see that okay we uh, didn't get any uh, interaction okay under this area right so here we can say that the burp collaborator simply failed to investigate that part okay burp collaborator is excellent framework by the way i'm not telling don't use it you just try there are different different method right to test the thing so i'm just giving you the method like all attackers whatever like uh, you know hacker one people or bug crowd people or we can say bug bounty hunters that's how they are going to you know craft the payload okay this is the basically uh, the things okay which i want to discuss first before jumping into the particular framework okay now next when you go to the repeater in this area if you see uh, this part is done and now if you want to you know encode this part you can simply select it and simple you know right click there is extension you can use hack water if you want to encode the payload so i want to encode the payload so you can see clearly send to hack water okay so hack water also you can use it for encoding the payload this is the hack water by the way so go to the extension and we will use this one and i want to encode right so encode uh, with base 64 url uh, if you want you can use it or you can also select there is a burp option here. you can see burp url encode you can see will select this and you can see selected and let me send this request once again and see we are able to get interaction here or not right so again i click poll now check the repeater tab still i'm waiting for the responses you can see we got the responses let me just try poll now poll now poll now you can see we didn't get any response under this area so what i can do i can change my approach i can right click send to repeater once again and uh, i'll go to target take one more time this request repeater tab and here what i can do here is i'll try this parameter for interaction okay so we can simply you know uh, select this and just type here http colon slash slash and i'll try here insert collaborator payload okay and send the request see we, you can see clearly we got some messages called uh, unrecognized call and when you go to the call operator poll now we can see i'm not able to see anything from here right again let's go once again and uh, we will encode this part from here uh, right click and uh, we will use the extension called hack water uh you can see uh, we have an code we can see base 64 and send the request so we can see we have the same information okay uh, here and just check the responses one more time go to the collaborator poll now see you don't have any responses right so this is a story for a uh, burp collaborator now we will use our uh, stuff so you can see this is an endpoint and if you are using okay like our automated scanner you can see by right click 
go to the extension and select advanced ssrf blind scanner pro and select scan for ssrf so when you click it here you can see clearly we got the vulnerability detected and now if i just go this side you can see request uh, we have responses okay here right so we are getting the information okay and now uh, if you simple just check that extension area go to the output area uh, not for this i need to look for uh, the extension which we installed that is called advanced uh, here you can see clearly we have this information coming from here right so if i go to this area uh, you can see clearly uh, it will tell you each and everything see potential ssra vulnerability found under this parameter called call right so you have an idea exact idea of which parameter is vulnerable right so you can see the call parameter is vulnerable we identify the vulnerability and now we can test okay like manually we can simple go uh, further uh, where is this a new endpoint so i'll go to the target once again right click send to repeater we'll go to the repeater area here and i'm going to change this is ssrf right server side request forgery it means uh, if attacker able to you know interact to uh, the application behalf of the application uh, then there is ssrf right so simple we can uh, change this part to file so query equal to file colon slash 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 etc i'll try to read the file okay because we got the interaction and the moment when i tried you can see i'm able to see all the information here okay that's how you exploit the things there are many many things okay you can do under these applications as i mentioned there are lot of things there are 34 types of ssrf okay so you can check my workbook and look at okay all these 34 types and if you want more in detail about all these thing in a, in a live manner or live uh, application in that case okay you can uh, basically go toward our awpt program which is here you can simply navigate to this around 130 plus modules okay we are covering 50 hours of training and we also have a cloud training like gcp aws azure azure ad you can check out so i oh, you know uh, teach all this concept in a more detailed manner okay with all you know all my resources everything i'll provide to you that's all for this section i hope you got an idea how to use uh, this powerful extension which we designed and there are many other things which i'm going to provide you as a booklet is a flip book to your email id if you are a member of automated ssrf scanner pro community thank you for watching the video i hope you like this framework and i will see you okay in the next session next session basically is on uh, interaction so we will be learning about different interaction like dns http smtp so if you see these are the details http dns smtp so we will see okay how to handle all these interactions so what exactly mean that okay so we are going to check it so stay tuned with me okay for a new episode have a great day. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe it. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you. Have a great day.